Kenya. Here I am. My venture is on the way. Long awaited visit, so let's go check out your beautiful country. Amazing welcome at the embassy, and I am finally here flying to Kenya. So let's do this. So, the very first um, African subscribers I had were from Kenya, so it's a big pleasure, guys, to. You know, for those of you who love watching my videos, you know, it's a pleasure to finally go to your country. So I'm very excited about it. I heard nothing but great things about it. And uh, with the time that I have, we'll see what I can actually get done. Because one thing about traveling like this, man, time flies like crazy. Guys, I just arrived in Kenya, so it's time for me to get a taxi now. Very sunny day, very sunny day. So one thing I want to mention, there are two ways you can do this. If you are a full-time traveler, thinking about how to best navigate uh, Eastern African countries, one thing I did, I got the East African visa, so it gives me access to Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda. So if I want to move to those countries, it's good for about three months, and I can use it that, like that, you know? The other way, you can just get individual visas, but it's gonna end up costing you more. The one thing you do want to make sure if you get the East African visa, you want to make sure that the country that gives it to you is the country where you land first. So if Kenya gives you that East African visa, you have to land in Kenya first and then move from there. So that's basically it. And he told me if I leave the country to go to the US, then the, the, valid, the visa is no longer valid. So it's good to use it when you're still navigating around. So that's basically how that works out. All right. I'm not sure what's going on here, but there's some kind of major meeting. Good, how are you? Thank you, thank you. Yes. Ah, I was hesitating, man. Uh, let me see if yes. you're gonna give me, by the way, I'm recording. It's for my YouTube channel. No, 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 it's okay. You, you, you're oh, fine. No okay. worries. So I, was, I was gonna take an Uber. But if you give me good rates, okay, where are then you we going can talk. To? We can talk business. Yeah, sure, sure. Where? Which place? Okay. So I'm going to this place right here. Right. Here. Yeah. This is the address. I know the place. Right here. Yeah. You Absolutely. know the place? Yeah, I know the place. Yeah, How much do you want for this? How much? I, I give you a good price. What's the good price? Yeah, so we go the price I just got to the country. Let's see how honest uh, my Kenyan brother is here. Yeah, it's only thirty dollars. Huh? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. <laughs> you, <one>, <laughs> you see? This one, yeah. You see what I'm saying, brother? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I just arrived. He's already yeah, trying to take, no, and he's not even giving me the price in shillings. Yeah. He's giving me the price in dollars. Yeah, yeah, when they do that, you know they're trying to get you. <laughs> they're trying to get you. We're in Kenya, brother. What are we yeah, talking yeah, dollars for? You see, you see, some you don't know. Calculate the shilling. We can calculate just dollars to shillings. But well, let's talk shillings. We're in Kenya, okay. brother. No problem. Let's talk shillings. Yeah, you know. It's and you know, you know, you yeah. know, it's not the right price. Okay, okay. You know, it's not. I know it's not. Cause. All of this. Five dollars. <laughs> now you take the price. Yeah. If you say twenty dollars, I know it's still more, but we can go. For express. This one I paid the express. You know? How much is the express? About uh, 300. That's why I told you make. How many shillings is that? I mean, let's this is agree. $25. Eh? Excuse me. Are you a YouTuber? Yes, I am. What, I am. What, uh, I've interest right here. Let me see. Yeah. So give me the price of shillings. Yeah. yeah, no, he, he, he's going to get it. Give so me the price of shillings. $25. Uh, 3,500 shillings? Yeah. $25. 3,000 shillings. Then we use the express. 3,000 shillings. Let's go. Yes, okay. What's, what's the name? Adventures. Let me type it for you. Where are you from? I'm from Nairobi. Local. Nairobi? Yeah. Wow. See, I, I was going to guess that he's from India, but he's actually from Nairobi. Wow. That's awesome. Were you born here? Yes. That's very interesting. I can't wait to dig more about... Uh, Where are you from? I'm originally from Cameroon, but I live in the US. And uh, this is my first time in Kenya. And um, 
I hit subscribe for you because you're gonna be on this vlog already. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All right. So, brother, we need to hit the um, we need to hit the ATM machine. Where? This one. Is there another one on the road? I think there's another one in the city. Let's go. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. So. My brother, man, he's trying to get me, but he's a cool yes. brother. Yeah. <laughs> well, Africa is all about negotiations. Sure, sure, sure. You never get the real price first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. When someone talks dollars in a foreign country, you know you're not getting the right price. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta talk shillings, man. Yeah. Wow, this is a nice airport. I like it. Yeah. Guys, this is really big and I like the red and the green colors from the flag. So you have airport uh, taxis here. You also have Uber. Um, but my brother, he's nice, so I'm gonna roll with him. All right. So let's go. Welcome. Welcome to Kenya. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Karibu. 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 Man, look at these nice cars out here. Wow. Are these rental cars or, or private taxis? These right here? Yeah, these are all taxis. Uh, They're all private taxis? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Hello. 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 Sounds good. Good, good, good. Side, eh? Man, I get two drivers? No, we are going to get one. We go. What? No, I am to book another car so you can my car. This one. Oh, you coming with us? Yeah, I'm the driver. But you're the driver? Yeah, yeah. Oh! Yeah. Just come this side. Okay. Yeah. So you're not, you're not driving, he's driving. No, he's the one driving. Eh? I'll explain for him where you're going. Okay, you already told him the price? Yeah, yeah. I okay, all right, thank you, man. Okay. Nice to meet you, brother. Thank you. All right. So you are here for many days? Um, I'm not sure yet. Mm. I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet. Okay. Yeah. So maybe if you want uh, our services... Uh, Give me a card. I give you a call. Yes, oh, I, I, I get the number from him. Yeah, yeah. yeah? So you give him my number. Eh? Okay. Yeah, you take him to Praidin. Eh? Azul. So Nigeria. Azul. Where is that? Azul. Eh? Praidin. Uh... Uh, Azul. Then he'll give you 3,000. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he, you, you know where it is? Yeah. Yes, okay. 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 Praidin Azul. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank, thank you. you Have a good so, one, bro. Jose. Yeah. He'll give you three thousand. Eh? Okay. But tell him we are WhatsApp. Eh? Tell him to stop by the ATM as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have a bell of you. Yeah. So it's my man. Apo. He's going to enter Libya. Yeah. ATM. Sawa. Sawa. See, Kai. Eh. Okay. Okay. Thank you, man. Thank you. Man, you see that? Yeah. So the driver himself is not the one getting. I got taken like a fish. Whoop! And then they bring me over here, <laughs> you know. And you know when they say three thousand, they are happy. It's all good, man. It's all good. I just want to make sure I don't pay the first price. And some people have made comments in the past and told me, well, you know, it's cheap and this and that, or you know, you don't have to argue, guys. If you travel a lot, you don't want to pay the wrong price. It's not about the amount of money, it's about the principle. Yeah, I just wanted to put the music down. Yeah, perfect. It's about the principle. It's not about the, the amount of money. Of course you can pay it, but why would you pay more than you need to? Why would you pay extra just because you're a tourist? Oh man, I need to. So that's the thing. I don't believe that I should just pay. Let me put this down. Okay. Yeah, I don't believe I should just pay any amount of money just because I'm from a foreign country. So that's some of the comments I've gotten in the past when I argue with taxi drivers. That's why, honestly, I prefer to take like Uber because you know the right price and you don't have to look for cash. Like right now, I need to get cash. If I had an Uber, I wouldn't worry about it. So, you know, it's just a personal preference. All right. So that's what it is. Another thing. So this is right outside the airport here. 
in the beautiful city of Nairobi. And I'm here with my brother. What's your name? I'm Joseph. Joseph, yeah. where are you from? I'm from Kirinyaga County. Kirinyaga County. Yeah. Oh, man. What's over there? That's a up country. Uh, central. In uh, central Kenya. How far is it from here? It's around the... Uh, 150 kilometers, three 150, hours drive, Three hours, yeah. okay. Three hours drive, yeah. Yeah, all right. So the neighborhood I'm going to is called Westland, I think. Westland. Uh, yeah, is it a nice area? Yeah, it's a very nice area. Yeah. Yeah, from, it's, a, it's around a 20 minutes drive from here. 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, without traffic, that is. Without traffic? Yeah. And uh, you think we're gonna hit traffic today? No, no it's on no, a this Sunday, time, right? so it's yeah. nice. Yeah. No traffic. No traffic. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Well, no traffic. We are on the way to uh, West Westland. Westland. Yeah. Westland um, area, part of Nairobi. That's the area that I was recommended to stay at. As you know, Kenya has some of the most amazing wildlife in Africa. So it makes sense that they have the zebras and all these different, you know, the hippos. Since we left the airport, I've noticed they have like different statues of all these different animals that they have over here. Yeah. So that's one of the things that I'm going to try to do. It seems to be a little bit expensive. If you don't have the, the right information, the prices online seems to be astronomical. So I'm going to try to see it, you know, but, you know, I, I believe Africa is more than just animals, but this in Kenya is a unique thing to do. So if I can get my hands into one of those organized tours and go to and go check out the wildlife why not this is a once in a lifetime opportunity so guys i'm very excited to be here before i came to this country i went to the embassy and i met this lovely lady that i've seen in the past that was my second time you know meeting her and she uh, introduced me to a diplomat and we had a chance to um to talk we had a chance to talk so check it out here i'm at the embassy of kenya as I'm planning my journey there, I figured I'm going to start this trip by visiting the beautiful embassy of Kenya here in Washington, D.C. So I was lucky. I was connected to a gentleman who works here, Mr. Longa. I'm sorry, I'm still messing up your name. Who works here at the embassy and who's going to give me some of the basic information about Kenya. You know, what I should do there and some of the basic information that can help you if you're planning a trip. So, so thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. So let's start with this symbol. Can you tell us what the lions and I see the chicken with the eggs and everything? Uh, tell me more about this symbol. What does that represent? Okay, this is actually our coat of arms, and uh, our coat of arms it uh, it has got very many aspects that uh -huh. uh, defines that coat of arms. Yes. So you, in the middle, you can see a shield, uh -huh. and. Uh, the shield is actually, you can see two lions actually holding onto the shield. Yes. This is a spear. Yes. But uh, you can see, and you can see the lion holding the spear. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lion actually symbolizes strength. Strength, okay. Yeah, in the African context. And then the, the spear is actually for the purpose of... Uh, for the purpose maybe of defense or and mm. also yeah and then we have the the first part of the shield is black black yes that represents the color of our people the color of the people then the white mm -hmm. white represents purity purity for the white okay yeah. sounds good then the the red actually symbolizes blood blood okay yeah, that was shed actually when independence was being fought for okay then we have the rooster and you can see the rooster is actually holding an, an ass. And the, the rooster is normally the the first animal that wakes somebody up in the morning. So mm -hmm. that symbolizes actually waking up in the morning. And the axe actually symbolizes now starting the work after you've woken up. Okay. Yeah, then uh, you move to the green. The green actually symbolizes vegetation. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you come actually down. Actually, these are some of our produce which we which we produce actually in Kenya. in Kenya. Okay. Yeah. And then down here, the the Arambi Arambi actually means uh, pulling together. Pulling together. Okay. Yeah. Sounds so good. I think that actually explains the the coat of arms. The coat of arms. Okay. Yeah. So how long have you been working here at the embassy? 
Okay, this is my third year. Third year. Yeah. Okay. What do you miss the most about Kenya? Because I've had I've had some food here at a beautiful Kenya restaurant. Mm -hmm. You can see the video. I'm gonna drop the link on the description. But I'm curious. I'm sure you had your share of Kenyan food here. Is there a difference between Kenyan food in the United States and Kenyan food in Kenya? Okay, there are a few restaurants which have actually incorporated the Kenyan cuisine, mm -hmm. like the famous uh, Swahili Swahili village. I love that place. Yeah, so that is actually the place you will get actually the most Kenyan food is actually incorporated. Yes. Obviously, I miss Kenya in terms of the food, in terms of the weather, in terms of the warmth of the people. Yes. In terms of uh, generally the, the community and also the warmth of the people. Yes. Yeah. So we are going to go in the embassy, guys, and I'm going to show you what I can show. So let's yeah, go. So let's go. All right. He's been very nice to give me his time. He was in the meeting, and I was able to get him after he got out done with the meeting. So that's what it is. So that's the entrance as you come in. Hello. So we are at the yeah, first room so here. This is our reception. Just uh, we have our Kenyan flag and then the U.S. flag in the middle. That is our president, uh, His Excellency William Ruto. Okay. Yeah. So we can get inside. All right. Yeah. So normally, uh, when you apply for a visa here, how long does it take for the visa to be processed? If uh, someone is a U.S. citizen and uh, and stuff, he wants to go there. How long does it take now? Yeah, the visa is uh, usually processed within 48 hours. 48 hours? Yeah, okay. you'll get your visa if all the documentation is, uh, is correct. Do American citizens, can they get a visa on arrival in Kenya uh, normally, under cir normal circumstances? Well, under normal circumstances, visa is applied online. online. Yeah, that is, uh, you can apply at evisa.go.ke and then uh, you upload the necessary documents that are required mm -hmm. then uh, then you pay yeah then uh, the the consular section will look at it if the documentation is, is correct then you will be issued with the visa all right sounds yeah. good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so this is the conference this room the conference room all right So this is where all the meetings take place? Yeah, for the time being, this is where some of our meetings uh, take place. Mm -hmm. So these are the different ambassadors that you have yeah, over yeah. there? These are the, the different ambassadors that uh, we've had over time uh, in the US. The first ambassador actually was from 63 to 1970 called uh, Ambassador Burudi Nabuera. Mm -hmm. That was the, the first ambassador the first one. Mm -hmm. to, to the US. Okay. Yeah. All right. There's no time limit, right? It, it depends on the president when your term as an ambassador. Mm, How many years roughly? The term is at the pleasure of the appointing president, authority, of course. Who, who is the president. Yes. But uh, normally the time, the, the term is normally around four years. About four years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. So for someone like me who's never been to Kenya before, mm. what would you recommend if you can give me top three or even mm. top five, depending? Of places that you recommend to, okay. to do in Nairobi or okay. Kenya in general okay you you'd be lucky if you land in Nairobi a national park is uh, it's very close to the city less than uh, less than 20 kilometers away okay. you will get to the Nairobi National Park, park. okay then, uh, there are also famous sites like uh, Masai Mara mm -hmm. Uh, we also have got uh, the beaches, the game parks, mm -hmm. the game reserves. The local people in the rural areas just to know how, how our people stay, the yeah. type of meals that they eat, mm -hmm. how the home, the, the setup of the homesteads. Uh, mm -hmm. You will appreciate those plus the plus our cuisine, our foods. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So you will get to learn some of these things. Apart from those, there are also physical features that uh, are of interest. Mm -hmm. We have actually the, the second largest freshwater lake, that is Lake Victoria. Mm. You can visit Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria. Yeah. Apart from the, the Lake Victoria, we also have mountains, rivers. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just mm -hmm. of uh, 
that could be of interest to yeah. our visitor. All right, so there's definitely plenty of things to do. Yeah. And obviously, I'm surprised you did not mention the Ugali. You gotta try that, right? Yeah, and even, <laughs> and even entertainment. Yeah. Entertainment, uh, you'll also get a variety. Yes. Depending, uh, varying from one community to another, to another, varying from one location to, to another. another. Yes. Yeah. So. How many tribes roughly do you have, you know, in Kenya? Do you know? Mm, as so of to date, I think we have around, uh, around 44. But Swahili is the most common language spoken in Kenya. Uh, actually, Swahili is, the, is our national language. The official language is, is English. Okay. Yeah, so mostly you'll find Swahili spoken in uh, in most parts of Kenya. And then the tribes, they also have their own individual languages? Yeah, yeah. There are also individual uh, dialects or ethnic languages spread uh, throughout the country. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. So I don't know, is there another place we can check out? Yeah, upstairs? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. this is my first time getting that much access to an embassy. So shout out to Kenya for sure. Yeah, I truly so like that. Just some of the the things that uh, that you would find in Kenya, like the the tea. We yeah. have one of the best teas around. The best tea. Yeah. Oh wow. We also have one of the best coffees uh, in the world. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I can't wait to try that when I get over there. Yeah. So all my tea lovers, you know, remember this, you know. So that's why they have this this poster over here, you know, just to remind you of the amazing tea options that you have in Kenya so you can appreciate how gorgeous this embassy is here and uh, I've never had this much access so I'm, I'm quite excited you know it's a good sign a good sign for Kenya can't wait to get up there so these are all the different offices here yeah. and this you is another Kenya Airways actually. Oh wow. Can take you to Kenya. Yeah, you can take Kenya Airways. Yeah, to so to Kenya. it is uh, a direct flight to to Kenya. Mm -hmm. And uh, for a visitor, I would encourage you to 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 use Kenya Airways. To use Kenya Airways. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So this is some of our this is some of our products. This is our coffee. Oh, that's the Dorman's instant coffee. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, this our tea. Okay, some of the tea options. This one is called um, Kericho Gold. Kericho Gold. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just a, a brief mention of our, of, our of the country. So thank you so much for your time. This is just a, you know a quick introduction to Kenya. Anything else you want to share? Have you ever tasted the Kenyan tea? Ka no, I haven't. Yeah. I haven't. I wish I had some, uh, some Absolutely. tea here, but yeah. uh, it looks like it's been carried away. Yeah, yeah. No, I definitely would love to try some tea. Yeah, so even, the, even the coffee. The coffee as well. Yeah. Okay. But the coffee I could, uh, I could give you, but it seems the, the temperature of the water has gone down. It's gone down. <laughs> yeah, I would have given you the, the fresh Kenyan, uh, Kenyan coffee. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, I'm go if it's okay, I'm going to grab one of the tea bags and then try it at home. Yeah, yeah. You know, when I, I can heat up some water. Wow, mm. my first gift from Kenya, outstanding. Mm. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Mm. Um, I'm excited to uh, to go over there. Kenyan Airways, do they land in Washington DC no, or is it just New, New York. York City, New York. right? Yeah. That's what I thought, yeah. Mm. Straight flight from New right. York to Nairobi. To Nairobi. Yeah. That is amazing, that is amazing. So I strongly recommend that if you're gonna be going to Kenya, that's one option that you can definitely utilize, you know, direct flights are always good. I, I'm not a big fan of layovers, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's what it is. All right, so oh, actually I forgot, everybody told me about the Messiah tribe. What? The Messiah? Yeah, how do I find the Messiah tribes? Because I would love to visit them in the villages, because I heard they're still very authentic to the, oh, to the okay. culture. can go to Narok, which is not uh, Narok County, which is not uh, very far from Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Also, you can get them in Kajiado. Kajiado is also not very far from Nairobi. Mm -hmm. You can also get them between the border of Kenya mm -hmm. and Tanzania. There are Maasai's there. Mm. If you are lucky, 
you may find also some within Nairobi. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So those are the those are the places. The places to find them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll see what happens. I, I don't like to plan too much because when you get into a country, things get a little bit difficult at times or you just don't end up doing. But if I get to see the Messiah, which I really, really would love to, I would definitely go to Narak, you know, and start from there. So, again, thank you so much for your assistance today. I appreciate that. Thank, thank you. you. After right. I was done talking to the diplomat, I uh, went outside and she was on her way home. But she's been so helpful. I asked if she could give me a few minutes of her time. So we can also talk a little bit about my trip over here. So this is uh, our So guys, I'm leaving the embassy now. And every time I've been here, there's a lovely lady that I've always been so helpful. Her name is Masad. Thank you so much for all the information you provided to me. So for my first time in Kenya, let me ask you this. What do you miss the most about your country? So I'll make sure I go ahead and enjoy Ooh. it for you. <laughs> what I miss about my country, yeah. I would say everything. Everything from the cock crowing and to to seeing children playing outside, yeah. uh, the genuine smiles, yeah. the the beautiful entertainment, wow. the food, the weather, yeah. everything. There's uh, it's it's very few things that bring us here in terms of opportunity. But uh, I miss my country. You miss your country. I miss the motherland. I miss the warmth of the people. Yeah. I miss how receptive everyone is. Yes. How willing everyone is to 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 help you out. Yeah. Uh, should you encounter any problem you're going through. Yeah. I miss feeling just feeling home, feeling safe, mm. being around people who. Who you know care about you you know yeah uh, and who would be willing to you know propel you further in any way they can yeah so i miss home i miss i definitely i would say i miss just about everything, everything. about home that's very deep so how yeah. long have you been working here at the embassy so i've worked here uh about uh, 17 years now. 17 years yes wow yeah. have you had a chance I've to go grown up here uh, I've had a chance to go go back home several times. Yeah. Uh, as as often as I can. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So Kenya is uh, also very well known for the animals and yes. everything else. So from Nairobi, I heard it's possible to actually go to a national park. That's not too far from there, correct? We have a national park in Nairobi. Yeah. We have a couple of national parks. Uh, yes. I would say Tsavo. Mm -hmm. Masai Mara, yeah, yeah. Abadez, mm -hmm. in Marsabit, yes. Samburu, mm -hmm. Meru, yeah. All those places uh, have uh, national parks, yeah. And we pride ourselves off of uh, being home to the big five: the yeah. lion, the uh, rhinoceros, uh, cheetah, leopard, uh, elephant. So we pride ourselves off of that being home, home of the big five. Yeah. And then we have the wildebeest migration, which happens once every year. Oh wow! There's no, especially in the tropical uh, weather, we have about every animal you would wish to see. Amazing. And uh, at such a close distance. Yeah. Yeah. You okay. wouldn't have to go so far. Okay. Yes. Especially right. us having one in the capital. Yes. You know. Yeah. We also have Giraffe Park. Wow. Which is uh, a place you would go and even be able to have breakfast with yeah. the, the, the giraffes. The oh, wow. Giraffe Manor. Yeah, I think tourism and wildlife is your kind of thing. Kenya is the place to be. Kenya is the place to it's be. It's the place to be. It never disappoints. We yeah. have white sand beaches uh, at the coast. Wow, it, it's breathtaking. I even have goosebumps uh, <laughs> talking about because I miss home. Yeah, yeah, we have just about everything. It sounds like you're about to go home when you finish your duty here at the embassy. I wish I could. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could. But definitely, that would be the first destination. Yes. I would go to as of right now in terms of holiday. Yeah. Yeah, that that's definitely something. I would love to take my husband there too. He's yeah. Jamaican. He would love to be there. Yeah. Yeah. So we're looking forward to our next trip. All right. Sounds yes. good. So to conclude this, let me ask you this because I've never been there. Is there a particular area or neighborhood that you recommend for someone who's going to Nairobi for the very first time? Because I don't know how the city is laid out. So I don't know if you have any recommendations at all about areas for expats or anybody to in the in? diaspora. No, to visit. To when visit? visiting, yeah. Nairobi is very diverse. I'll say that much. It would be difficult to say where to go and stay. Yeah. It depends on what your purpose Okay. is in Nairobi yeah so Nairobi you we have the the very high-end places you could stay yeah. and we also have slums 
in mm -hmm. Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So depending on where you want to go or what your purpose is yes. for visiting Kenya yeah. or uh, Nairobi per se, mm -hmm. that determines mm -hmm. that determines where you'll stay. Mm -hmm. But we have the poor, we have the middle class, we have the rich. Nice. It's your pockets. Yes. Your pockets. It's all about the Benjamin. Yes, it's, huh? it's the Benjamin. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. You're and I'll make sure welcome. I report back when I get back from Kenya. You're welcome. Karibu Kenya. Mm -hmm. Karibu to everyone else who wishes to go to Kenya. We we welcome you. All right. Yes. All right, guys. This has been my most, my warmest welcome here in any embassy I've gone to so far. So I'm so excited to go to Kenya. And again, thank you so much for your time. We're glad to have you. Karibu mm -hmm. Tena. Asante Sano. Karibu. All right. So that's what it is. Great. Way welcome. So, brother, what were you saying? I was saying that uh, you come so much to Nairobi. Yeah. Feel safe at Nairobi. Nairobi is very safe, in fact. Yeah. So you are so much welcome here. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What is the some of the things you recommend to do out here? Some of the activities. Well, we have so many activities. Like uh, you can visit our national park. You see animals. Yes. We have so so many different and beautiful places you can visit here. Yes. Yeah. I wanna go to the. I like to go to the Maasai Mara. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the things that I'm going to try to do. Okay. Maasai Mara is one of our best national parks mm. and uh, a very large one. Yeah. Uh, you can see uh, that park has uh, every type of animal. Yes. Also, we have like uh, in Nairobi, we have Nairobi National Park. Nairobi National Park. Oh yeah. yeah, there's a national park here. I can see. Yeah, we have but Nairobi National Park. National Park. Yeah. But there's yeah. only giraffes there, no? Yeah, not not only the giraffes. Only the elephant is not in Nairobi National Park. Other oh. animals are there. Uh, the elephant lions? and lion only. Yeah. Only those two there are not they there. They don't go there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But also you can see them in. Uh, we have somewhere we call them in the Cedric. Yes. You see elephant there but uh, only baby elephants only baby elephants yeah okay yeah nice okay but we have so many parks like uh, Amboseri National Park we have Sabo National Park yeah North Kenya National Park but they yeah. are in different places what is the favorite type of meat that Kenyans like so you know is it chicken is it do you eat pork here I think so yeah people... we also eat pork you here. eat pork here okay yeah. We have pork, we have uh, goat, we yes. have uh, beef. And what is the favorite meat for most Kenyans, would you say? Do you know? Uh, yeah, we have uh, roasted meat. Roasted meat? Roasted meat. Meat. What yeah. kind of animal? Beef? Most of them are beef and goat. So you would say beef and goat as it's probably the main yeah, type of that's meat? The okay. main, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you like ugali? Yeah, that's our favorite. Uh, in fact, uh, ugali with the uh, roasted meat, that beef one. Okay. It's very nice. Ugali. Yeah. How about fufu, man? You got no love for fufu out here? What's that? You don't I'm, know fufu? <laughs> I don't know about it. I'm from East Africa, so I mean West Africa, so yeah. Over there, we don't we don't really consume ugali that much. It's mostly fufu. No, uh, here we have only ugali. Ugali, only yeah. ugali. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Can't wait to try it. Yeah. Some nice restaurant. We yes. have a carnival restaurant. Yeah. There you find the different kind of meats. Yeah. If you want to taste crocodile, you find it there. Different kind of uh, roasted meat. Right on. Yeah. Mm. Have you ever wait. tasted the crocodile meat? No. You find it in carnival. Carnival restaurant. It's not far from where, where you are. Okay. Going to stay I need here. to write down. Yeah. So crocodile meat. Yeah. Whoa. Guys, have you ever tasted crocodile yeah. meat before? And you know, I was going to ask him, and I don't want to say weird food, because if you say, is there any weird food, it's like, it's odd or it's a bad thing. Something uh, unusual. I was going to ask him that, if they have some, some kind of unusual meat out here. And he just suggested crocodile meat. Yeah. Man. Also buffalo meat. Buffalo meat. Yeah. Yeah, I've had that before. They have them in the US. 
It's um, what else? What other what other rare animals? Sorry? No lion meat, right? You don't eat no, lion. No, no, no. Thank no. God. <laughs> no, I was about to freak out, like, oh no, please. Not the baby lions, not the lions. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You know, um in some countries, yeah, like in the United Arab Emirates, yeah, even Oh man, this guy is like not paying attention. Hey dude, stay on your lane, man. This guy too. Yeah. He's not paying attention either. <laughs> they can't stay in the lanes, man. What the heck? <laughs> man. Yeah, that is how Kenya is a bit uh, rough in driving. It's a little <laughs> That's rough. What they... I like that. <laughs> yeah. I like a little rough. Yeah. So they eat camel meat yeah. in Ethiopia. Which one? Camel. You camel meat. Camel, oh, camel meat. Yeah, yeah, it's also here. Oh, you eat camel, camel meat? meat? Yeah. You wow. find it here, but some um, few places. Because only Muslim likes uh, camel meat. Camel meat. Yeah. So we don't find it everywhere. Yeah. But it's here also. Okay. Yeah. And what is the main religion in Kenya? Uh, Christian. Christian? Yeah. Christian and uh, Muslim. We are almost equal. Okay. Yeah, but uh, Christian uh, has a bit large number. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Interesting things. Yeah. So, uh, crocodile meat for sure. Gotta try that. Yeah. And then, um, I gotta go see the animals at the national park here. Yeah. And go from there. Oh, that's the Nairobi Express right here. Yeah, Nairobi Express. Does it go all the way to the airport? From the airport to Westrand. But you have to pay for it. How so much? So, we only use it when there is traffic to avoid oh. the traffic. But, oh, uh, like a toll zone. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So they have like an HOV yeah. lane, some type of us. Uh, so you can go faster. Yeah. Basically. Very yeah. Fast, yeah. yeah. Okay. But I think I could do it because there's no traffic, there's no need to use it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Welcome to Nairobi, yeah. the city under the sun. All right. I just got here and I'm already impressed. You know, they have a lot of infrastructures over here. It's a beautiful city. It just welcomes you in all this construction. You can see it up there. You know, really nice tall buildings. A lot of different restaurants. Lots of different venues here. And this is just straight out of the airport. I just got in and I'm already impressed. I should have checked the price first before deciding to agree. So now I'm gonna pay three times what I would have paid otherwise. But it's all good. You live and you learn. <laughs> Getting my shillings so we can carry on. All right, guys. Let's continue the journey. I felt uncomfortable leaving my bags like this behind, but he wants my money, not my little clothing, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everything is good. We continue the journey. You guys drive on the right side. Yeah, we drive on right side. We keep left. Yeah. Yeah. Like the British. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Just like the British, the same system. That means your boy Ivan cannot drive here. Yeah. Everything is reversed. I'll be confused as hell, yeah. going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, God. Be west on this side, yeah. Okay, all right, yeah. And uh, on the other side, you if you get inside a little bit, yeah, this is our industrial area, okay. Industrial, there are, there are some companies and so on, okay, yeah. Right. So we are 
approaching the downtown core yeah, of Nairobi. This one is our one of the stadiums. We call it Nyayo Stadium. Okay. Yeah. Nyayo Stadium. Nyayo Stadium. Nyayo. Okay. All right. Manga Green Shadow. All right. Yeah. Nyayos right here is the the biggest soccer field or is there another another one? There's another one. Yeah. This is the second one. That's There's the second one. There's another one okay. called the Kasarani Stadium. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is the second one now. Okay. Yeah. All right. I never switch sides like even when I die, I'm a ride for the squad, let her ties in the hearse. I've been on the vibe kinda hard to describe. I'm in between I'm good and it's fine, but I'm tired of the grind. Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle with a time of my life. I never so packed for the stack, never lied on the back of the back. Look at this impressive highways over here. Ah, Kenya. You guys are doing big things, huh? Hey, hey, hey. I'm impressed, man. this this is nice yeah look at that that is some building right there look at that one over there look at that blue yeah. look at the way it looks you know they both kind of like split apart beautiful construction you know look at all these inner passes over here Nairobi is no joke and it's clean too I like it I heard so many things about this country, in particular about this city. Yeah. So I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. You don't know a place yeah. unless you visit that place. You don't. Yeah, yeah. You have to come and see it. Okay, here is our parliament. Your parliament is right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. This one. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Right on. Places are like people. If you're watching somebody on, on YouTube and you think you know them, <laughs> you don't. You need to know them by spending time with them and meeting them. Then you can have a better idea. Same thing with countries. You can hear many things about a country, but nothing beats first-hand experience. You need to come and see for yourself. That's the best way to judge something. If you're watching a video, it's just a collection of moments that we, sh we choose to share with you. So if you have very strong feelings against somebody, because I know somebody's going to creep up on my DM and say something. <laughs> might, might, might be being here right now, but it is what it is, you know? So don't be too quick to judge from a distance and don't assume negative things about countries. No, don't assume negative things about countries that you haven't been to. You got to come and see. So far, this city already seems so big. Look at the roads, you know? So big. Yeah, just this driving on the other side for me, that's a no-no for me. I can't drive here. No way. <laughs> My head is all the way around. Man. So how long have you been driving? Driving for around uh, this is my 18th year of driving. 18? 18. Yeah. What do you choose to do this and not Uber, for example? Uh, if I, uh, maybe I start my own business. Okay. I like a restaurant very much. Yes. One that I don't have capital for raising one. Yeah. But I like uh, starting uh, my own restaurant too much. What kind of food are you gonna serve in that restaurant? Uh, my restaurant maybe I. Have like uh, yamachoma, that yamachoma, yeah, 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 yamachoma, yeah, and uh, some drinks like alcohol, yeah, yeah. nice, yeah. Our actually, our uh, is there a national beer here? National beer, yeah, we what, have which, like what is the Tasca. national beer? Tasca. Tasca is the national beer, Tasca is the national beer, okay, yeah, we have Tasca, Guinness. Guinness, yeah, yeah that's that's pretty Guinness? international. Yeah, those but are... Tesca, that's a Kenyan beer? Yeah, that's a Kenyan beer. Okay, I have to try that. Yeah. 
So you want to open your own restaurant, so you don't want to keep driving anymore? Ah, if I get my own capital, I can put my own restaurant and uh, maybe I drive myself rather yeah. than driving this. Uh, but wouldn't you be system. busier with Uber than doing what you're doing right now? Uh, I know you'll get less money because yeah. you guys ask you for more. I get it. Yeah. But wouldn't you be busier and therefore making more money? Ah, sometimes it's very down. So by, for me, I, I prefer if I put my own business like a restaurant shop is better than being a, a driver. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Got it. All right. Yeah. Hey. In African countries, you need to show some muscles when you're driving. If you want to be all polite, you ain't never going to move. It's just like crossing the road. You got to show some balls and cross. Because if you're going to wait, you think pedestrians, right? No. You just go. <laughs> you know? You got to show some muscles, man. All right. Okay, now we are leaving the city. We live in the city, all right? We are approaching Western now. This is the... There now you see those buildings. Yes. We are now approaching Westerns. We have left the city center now. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So you can see the beauty of uh, that's that big warehouse there. That's the beauty of Westerns. You see? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In fact, it's the tallest building in Nairobi now. Oh. Yeah. That that white building right there? Yeah, this one. N O N B O. Okay guys, you see that tall. It might not show very well because I can't really yeah, zoom here, yeah, but yeah, that yeah, one, yeah, NBO. Yeah, we're just passing the uh, okay. side of it. Alright, the tallest building in Nairobi. Yeah. Okay. NBO. So now this is the start of Western. Wow, wow yeah. it's beautiful here. Yeah. Wow, guys, look at this. A nice welcome. And hey, you know a city is doing well when they have all those overhead highways, man. Like all these tall highways, you know, traffic is flowing, man, it's flowing. I like that. I really like that. So I'm not in a bad area then. Coming from there to go downtown is very easy. It's not far. Yeah, not far. It's just like a 10 minutes drive. Yeah. No, on weekdays, sometimes traffic is very crazy. Yeah. And uh, there's no way you can use expressway to join the town from this side. Yeah. Yeah, there's no exit to join the city. Oh, there's no, there's yeah. no um, exit on Nairobi Express. Yeah. Okay, this one is one of our five-star hotel yeah it's Kepkinski hotel Kepkinski hotel Kepkinski Kepkinski okay uh, that's one of the biggest hotels in Nairobi oh wow yeah okay in fact that is where uh, President Obama slept when he was oh when well, he was here yeah okay yeah sounds good yeah I might go uh, take a look at that hotel and maybe yeah. film over there see Kepkinski hotel First impression of Nairobi, beautiful, big, well-built, amazing city. A lot of nice construction going on. Traffic is flowing. Nice interpass, highways, nice buildings. It's very clean. All good. I like it. Nights at the flat to be real, could you see me making moves while I'm at? I'm still on the grind every time when I chat. I'm burning down sage, keep the demons away. When I write it, give a piece of myself to the page. I don't do it for the praise, love. That's just how I'm made. Yeah. Yeah. BMW, my Nairobi. Look at the building for BMW. Wow, this is really, really nice. Start to feel like I'm on one. Settling, I'll be here for the long run. I'm a slave for the cash, got snakes in the grass, no breaks on the head, but it's all fun. We done seen it all, heard it all, heard enough, give me space for I murder y'all. This is the neighborhood, right? Yeah, what, yeah. Where I'm staying? Oh. This is beautiful here, guys. Check this out. So this is um I keep saying this area the wrong way. I think it's called um I keep saying Westland, but I hear you pronouncing it differently. Yeah, it's West Westlands. Westlands. Yeah. Westlands. Yeah. Okay. Westlands. Okay. Westlands. All right. No, so that's this Westlands. Is, uh, Bryden Azure. Okay. Yeah, it's it. You see? Bryden yeah. Azure. Yeah. yeah this is, this is the hotel. Yeah. Okay. So this is where I'm staying. Yeah. yeah. This is not a bad place. It yeah, looks alright. Nice one. Yeah. yeah, it looks alright. All right. 
Hello, sir. Yes, sir. How are you? Yeah, thank you. So far, also, I want to say Kenyans are very nice people. Yeah. I like it. Some countries people don't like cameras. I don't know yet, but so far, it seems like everybody's super nice uh, yeah. about me recording here. <laughs> we are very friendly. Yeah. And uh, I know you'll be happy. You like Kenya more than I like expected. it already. Yeah. Hey. I like it more than I expected. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, take care of this payment and check in. Uh, my boss. You have your boss? Yeah. Because guys, I checked that Uber app. You saw my reaction earlier. It was 1,000 shillings. <laughs> but the guy told me three and I thought I was getting a deal. He still got me. Man. <laughs> if that's what he was when they talk dollars, that don't make no sense out here. You gotta talk shillings, man. Shillings. Shillings. Oof. It's, you know, let me. I, I saw this in the, in the Philippines. They say when you do like this, it's good luck to get yeah. more money. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me get my bag okay. and carry on. Let's go. Okay. All right. Uh, yes. I forgot to give you the, the number. number? Yeah. G give it to me right now. Okay. Yeah. I uh, I'm gonna take the other guy's number. Just in case. So I'm just here at the hotel, paid and everything. They're just uh, checking to see if, uh, when my room is gonna be available. So it's a very nice lobby here, you know? So I got my bag over there, just waiting for my time to go upstairs and I'll be all set. There's a lot of foreigners here. I read online that this Westland area is the expat area, so I can definitely vouch to that. <laughs> I can definitely vouch to that. All right. So that's what we got going on. All right. <laughs> so guys, I finally got my room, and I'm here with what's your name again? Jane. Yeah, Jane. Jane. Jane from uh, Nairobi. Yeah. Show me the spot. Okay. All right. Oh, this is nice right here, man. This is better than I expected. Okay. All right. And the Wi-Fi that I use downstairs is the same one that will work over here, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So we have a telephone number there. Telephone number is right here. You okay. Call in case you need assistance from us. Okay. Uh, the bathroom. The bathroom. And okay. And the chat to the left hand. Yeah. Left side is for the hot water. Yeah. All right. Nice sink and toilet and stuff. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Enjoy your stay with us. Thank you. And the, the key. Is here. Is over here. Oh, you already hooked it up. Nice. Now I'm gonna need a second one because I I do work on my computer and I need a computer to run when I'm actually away. Uh huh. <laughs> so I'm gonna request a second key if it's okay. Sure. Okay. Request a second key for the lights. Perfect. When you leave the room. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. All right. So guys, I made it in after traveling for X amount of hours. I made it here in Nairobi, Kenya. I am impressed already. I haven't even been out there. Just arrived from the airport. Beautiful buildings out here. This is a beautiful city. And I'm not just saying this, you know, I'm not just saying this because I, 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 as an African, I have to admit, I'm discovering my own continent. To be honest, I left Africa when I was little, you know, and I grew up in the US, so I didn't get a chance to travel around Africa as much. You travel to enjoy yourself, you travel to discover, you travel for the history, you travel for the food. And man, Africa has it all. And yes, it's expensive to come here, but once you're in, everything is generally cheaper. You just have to know how to bargain. You have to know how to negotiate. So maybe I'll make a video about this. So guys, if it's your first time on the channel, thank you so much for watching me. For those of you who have seen my videos before and are back, thank you so much. I am very happy to be in Kenya. I'm excited to see more about this beautiful country. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Cheers. Light it up, light it up.